data can be transferred to and from the uh, from the terminal using the uh, using the USB port that we find underneath the uh, underneath the armrest uh, cover. There might might just be uh, one USB port on the end of a little uh, little cable, or depending on the on the spec, you might have uh, four USB ports that sit right at the uh, right back right at the back of the uh, the armrest underneath the cover. But as soon as we uh, plug in a, a USB stick. Uh, then is we get this uh, get this pop-up box uh, on there hit the uh, hit the green tick and then it brings us through to the uh, through to the system setup and the uh, the connectivity uh, icon on there another way to uh, to get to this is I can go on to the uh, the three lines up the up the top there go to uh, the system setup and then come across again to my connectivity and I'm in uh, through here. If I then touch on to uh, onto the USB here I can see what is on the uh, what's on the tractor and here then what's on the uh, on the USB stick and then it's deciding as to what I want to move which way. So I could either select individual items uh, on here so by just tapping and highlighting a uh, tick in the box there and then I can move that field data uh, going that way to, to go onto another tractor. If there was everything in here I could uh, hit the uh, hit the top uh, uh, tick box there and it will select everything to uh, to go across all in, uh, in in one go. And the same really with the uh, with the um, the USB stick, anything I want to uh, to transfer across. So if I wanted to bring through this uh, this task data folder, if I uh, if I highlight it, I can then hit the uh, hit the arrow. It's saying where do I want the data to be imported to? Well, I want it to go onto the tractor storage. Hit the green tick uh, on there. Hit the green tick again, and we see now is in the, uh, the task data. I've got this new uh, this new field uh, in here. Vice versa, if I wanted to send this uh, this field one to uh, to the USB stick, so that would take out the uh, the field boundary uh, with it and the field field name. Is then I can uh, tick it and then send that one. It's asking me then as to where the uh, desired storage is because I've only got the one USB uh, port that's already highlighted for uh, for USB one. But uh, depending on where I had other, if I had you know, other USBs uh, in the four USB ports. To set it where I want to send it to. Comes up then with this pop up box, then just like saying, Do I want to export the worked area of the field or not export the worked area? So it basically, have I got a coverage map on there um, for uh, for that one? But uh, there's no coverage map in this one, but uh, we could select on the you know, top one there and send that one uh, across, and we see that now on the, on the USB stick. So effectively, things that I can transfer across is, is fields, well, field names, field boundaries. I can send across way lines uh, across the tractors. I can send across implements by name, um, and also any uh, any offsets, working widths assigned with them. But I can't take across then if I've got a, uh, a headland sequence, uh, say for argument's sake, or any any details such as uh, you know flow rates onto onto a spool valve uh, on there. So. I I can take across anything that's there in regards to under the implement manager for that one I can transfer that data uh, backwards and uh, and forwards and whatever we can take off this screen we could put that onto the old uh, NTO1 screen the uh, the 10.4 inch terminal and vice versa we can bring in uh, field data, way lines, boundaries, uh, implements by name and dimension from the uh, from the NTO1, the 10.4 inch terminal, the old screen uh, onto the onto onto the new screen as uh, as well.